welcome back to star tv on today's episode we're going to be talking about how to deal with toxic family members right before we get into today's lovely video make sure you guys subscribe to this channel make sure you guys like the video drop a comment down below let's start know what you think do you have toxic family members how do you deal with them and what works best for you make sure you guys click the bell so you can turn on your post notifications so every time i post youtube will alert you let's get right into it number one on how to deal with toxic family members love them from a distance you have to understand just because they are family it doesn't mean that they have your best interests at heart just because they are family it does not mean that they will not backstab you and it doesn't mean that they will not cross you. Sometimes we have such good hearts that we want to console people. We want to love them and we want them to receive our kindness and our love and our efforts. But all in all, these are people that you cannot trust. Sometimes you have to love people from a distance. Pray for them. Send them positive energy. Check on them periodically, but you cannot be close to them. You cannot trust them. You cannot give them any opportunity to do you wrong when they have already showed you who they are. I know it hurts because we love our family members, but some of them are toxic. Some of them low-key don't even like us, but we still have to cross paths because we are family and because we are blood. You know, the family events, you got to see each other. You know, when you go to church, you probably got to see each other. But you have to know how to move with certain people because if you give them the opportunity, they will do you wrong. Love people from a distance. Number two is so important you must set boundaries now i know you guys are probably thinking star what is a boundary a boundary is a line that you do not cross so let's say with certain family members you may not want to hang out with them all the time because you know that they are toxic and they don't mean you any good so with family members you have to tell them you know what saturdays and sundays i'm busy the only day I can link up with you is maybe a Monday or a Tuesday. No ands, no ifs, and no buts. That is a boundary. A boundary is, you know what? I understand we were arguing, but never raise your voice at me. Under any circumstance, do not raise your voice at me. We're going to talk like civil adults. That is a boundary. A boundary is, yeah, I'll speak to you. But I cannot talk after 1030. That is my bedtime. I'm in bed. There's no ands, ifs, or buts. Make sure you set boundaries with toxic family members. Because if you don't set boundaries, they will walk all over you. They will disrespect you. They will have no regard for you. Even though you are family, they don't take that into consideration. Okay, when you are dealing with toxic family members, you must love them from a distance. You must set boundaries and let them know how things are going to play out and what you're not going for and what you will not accept. The worst type of feud and beef to be in is when your own family members are against you, when your own family members are trying to pull you down, when your own flesh and blood is gossiping about you, belittling you, envying you. It is the worst. You have to set these boundaries in place and let these family members know what you will and will not tolerate. And if they fail to abide by your boundaries, you have to cut ties with them and cut them off. When someone is toxic, they always bring trouble to you. Trouble you didn't ask for and trouble you do not deserve. And we have to take initiative, especially during these holidays. We want to be happy. We want to be around positive people. And if you have to deal with someone who's not positive and their family, know how to move with these people and figure out what you're going to accept and what you're not going to accept. Straight like that. Number three, this is something that I had to learn over the years. Do not look to them for acceptance. You know, sometimes you want your family to accept you. You don't want to be the oddball. You don't want to be the one that barely comes around. You don't want to be the family member that barely calls other family members only here and there. You want to be accepted. You want to be loved. You want to be included. You want to be treated fairly. You want to be liked. 
But when a family member is toxic, which means they really don't like you, or they're always trying to argue with you, or they're always picking fights with you, or there's always drama when you come around, when they are toxic, you cannot look to them for acceptance because you will never find it. You cannot look to them for acceptance because they are just not your people. They're family, they're blood, but sometimes they don't wish you well. Sometimes they are preying on your downfall. So instead of being accepted, realize that one, you are accepted by God and you are here for a purpose. There is a reason that you are here and whatever you put your mind to, you will do well in it. You will be successful in it. So you know what? When you go around family, go with this type of mindset. I'm here. I love you guys. We're family, but I'm not going to beg you to love me. I'm not going to beg you to accept me. I'm not going to beg you to include me. Because there are those family members that they'll see you, they'll start nitpicking, start trying to put you down, talking about your hair, talking about what you got on, you know, trying to meddle and fish in your business just so they could talk about you. You have to know how to deal with these people. Don't look to them for acceptance. Keep it straight, high and by. Wish them well, love them, be positive, keep a distance. Set your boundary and do not beg for their attention nor their acceptance because you are looking for something that you will never receive from them simply because they are what? Toxic. Number four, know that you cannot change them. Pray for them. You guys, when you have family members who are toxic, I know sometimes we want to try to change them. Like, why are you acting like this? Why don't you guys like me? Why are you not accepting me? Why is it always a problem with you? So we think that if we're kind enough to them all the time, that we can change them. We think that if we show them a little bit more attention, a little bit extra love, that we can change them. You have to realize that people can only be who they are. A person will show you who they are over and over again. Don't let them show you more than two times because then the blame is on you. You cannot change your family members. Some family members gossip. Some like to prey on other people. Some like to bring you down. Some steal from you. Some will backbite you. Some will stab you in the back. You cannot change them. The only thing you can do is pray for these family members. And sometimes it sucks when you don't even want to be around family because you don't want to deal with their mess. You don't want no parts in it. And that's a bad feeling when you have to avoid family members. When you don't feel comfortable around people who you share the same bloodline with, that is the worst feeling. And you want people to love you and to like you. And you want that family unity. But you have to know that you cannot change these people. The only thing you can do is pray for them and pray for their heart because it is a heart issue. When family can't come together, when there's no unity in a family, that is a heart issue. When family members are envious and jealous of you, that is a heart issue. When family members have hatred for you without cause, that is a heart issue. And only the person who created the heart can change it. Keep them in your prayers, but do not deal with them. You got to protect your energy, your soul, your spirit, and who you are at all costs. We're living in a world where your own family is digging your grave. Your own friends are putting you six feet down below. We got to be so careful with how we deal with people. We can't tolerate and accept things because we are blood related. It's time that we love ourselves enough to stand up for ourselves and know what we deserve in friendship, relationships, and family relationships. It's time to take a stand. Number five, and this is the last one. As much as we live in a world where we desire companionship, companionship and friendship, companionship and relationship, companionship and family relationships. Do not get close to these people. When you have family members who are no good to you, don't get close to them. And I even deal with certain family members with caution. They'll tell you, oh, Star, Star only calls like once every six months. Yeah, we invited her, she didn't show up. <laughs> and you know what? I hate to have to act like that. I hate to be like that, but it's certain people I know don't wish me well and I got to keep a distance. I love you. We're blood, but you showed me who you was and I didn't like it. You showed me certain patterns and I tried to forgive you, but you kept doing it over and over and over again. And it will hurt me more than it will hurt them. 
don't get close to them. When I say don't get close, when you have a toxic family member who doesn't mean you any good, you should not be hanging out with them every weekend. You should not be at every event with them. You should not always be on the phone with them. You should not always be texting them. You should not tell them when God blesses you with a new opportunity. Don't tell them when things are not going how you planned. You think they're happy to hear good news? Or do you think that they're happy when things are going bad for you? That's like when you have family members that gossip about you and speak bad about you. Why are you telling them good things about you and you know they won't be happy? When something goes wrong in your life and you have family members who have repeatedly backstabbed you, why are you telling them when all hell breaks loose, knowing that they're going to rejoice? There are certain family members who are deadly and who will take you out. You have to be very, very careful. When I say don't get close to somebody, I mean that there should be a good distance between you two. You talk here and there. You show up at every other family event. You need to limit your access. You should not be accessible to these people. They should not be able to access you when they are toxic. You are supposed to be protecting your peace. Don't underestimate people because they are your family. They will be the same people to dig a pit for you and set a trap for you. It's time we move with wisdom and with caution. I love you guys. These are the holidays. I'm teaching you how to deal with the toxic family members. Let's recap. Number one, love them from a distance. Number two, set boundaries. Let them know how you want to be treated and what you will not be accepting. Number three, don't look to them for acceptance. Some people will never like you. They will never love you. They will always hate you. And it's nothing you can do about that. Number four, know that you cannot change them. The only thing you can do is wish them the best and pray for them. Number five, for your safety, for your peace of mind, and for your clarity, do not get close to them under any circumstance. Know how to deal with people and believe people. I'm begging you guys, believe people when they show you who they are the first time because a person who doesn't like you and their family, that resentment, that anger, and that envy will boil up and one day they will lash out on you. One day they will try to fight you. One day they will try their best to tear you down and you will be shocked and surprised like you never knew where it was coming from because you ignored the signs and now they have so much animosity built up towards you that these people could potentially take your life or set you up or ruin everything you worked so hard for. I love you guys. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Make sure you like this video. Comment down below. I hope you guys learned something. Your own family will do you in. Tupac even spoke about this. Your friends will too. We got to be careful. You know, love is light. Hate is heavy. Let's move with wisdom, you guys. Okay? And um, I'll see you guys soon. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment. Peace.